Okay. Heavy machinery. Now, I'm not going to do the whole level today because uh, it's like nearly, it's quarter to 11 now. Um, this, this island has some great levels, but also some horrible murder levels that just exist just to fuck with you, and that was not one of them. I never got what those were even supposed to be, those things with the periscopes on them. They're just kind of weird mouse droids. The cold ones do nothing. The hot ones murder your ass. Crash is cold resistant, but he's not heat or spike resistant. I think you can fall down there, but I'm not gonna. Just getting tokens for everybody again. Again, very colorful. Even though it's a factory, they managed to make it very colorful and like very interesting to look at. Which makes you ask, how the fuck are they managing to make everything look so boring in the modern era? Wow, that's hot. Oh no, gimme! Oh. These guys. They're invincible and they, they, they're in the worst places. They're also in the generator room, which we'll maybe see on um, Cortex Power, I think. I think they're in Cortex Power. Ooh! Did not see you. you. They blend into the background a lot more than they used to. They used to be like pale gray and really stand out. Now they've got a metallic sheen, they kind of fade into the background a bit better. Same with these guys, but because they're always moving, I can see them a lot easier. I like this level. This is the only reason we're doing this level right now. I was like, I'm going to stop, and then I was like, oh look, I, I like this level, so we're doing heavy machinery because I like this level. That is literally the only reason. Oh, I forgot you were there. by the spiky boys. It's a miracle I haven't been killed by these yet. Because the spiky boys are the problem. More than you would... Ooh, and the hot pipes. Yeah, they put it there because you think, oh, they were in freeze, so there won't be another one. And there it is. <laughs> we got this now. Got some wumps. Yeah, it's an extra life. Just gratuitous amounts of poorly shielded piping that's leaking as well, and air vents that are, and like drooping. Look at this glowing waste. What a bad man. We should all be judging Cortex for his terrible waste disposal. Oh. Yeah, he gave it to me anyway. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh. Oh. I forgot they were here. Come back in a big way. 
many levels. Well, two. Uh, oh, good, that's not. Oh, I, I see we're doing this already. Oh. oh no, I hate it when I die for no reason, and for reasons. Luckily, though, a lot of the gimmick stuff that feels manufactured and bullshit like that, and like the aforementioned box bridging and shit, starts to go away in later games as they try and make them more child accessible, but also just find a way to increase the challenge without it feeling like really forced and like bullshit. Which they do a lot of otherwise. Oh. Oh, I thought that was one of them, it's not. These go down, I can't see anything. Oh, look, that's a nice addition. Just random lighting and sparks and stuff, that's pretty cool. They had details where I didn't even know that there would be details. Because to be honest, before I didn't really know what I was looking at in this environment, and now I can see they're like giant spark. It's almost like giant spark plugs. More like generators. Yeah, they really pile on the lives early on in this level, uh, this world. Because... It only goes downhill from here, <laughs> in a big way. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, he's dead, I've killed him. <laughs> Poor Crash. Cortex power next. I don't like, have as much fondness for Cortex power, but like the on the way to generator root, on the way to like toxic waste, I have like, there's some good levels in this. And then there's, oh look. There's some good levels with some nice, cool shit in them like this. And even the late, the really late levels, which are hard as balls, they have some nice stuff. But some of it is like, really? And you thought split pathing was not a thing. Split pathing was always a thing. From level one of Crash One, split pathing was a thing just to make your life hell when collecting all the boxes. Like, and you notice that they, like, really, like, nothing feels cheap in Crash, really, except for the things I've mentioned, because, um, although the jumping, the Activision fucked up later, <laughs> or, my, or Vicarious Visions fucked up later. But anyway, um, aside from that, they establish rules, like, cold pipes don't hurt you, hot pipes do very early on and just go, look, and then reuse that idea and, oh, look. They start to really, so that's one of Pinstripe's cronies. So they established Pinstripe has people working for them. You see more split pathing. Like, you know, if there wasn't enough already, there's like, Several paths split several times. Got 33 lives. Been having an average 30 odd lives in every playthrough of Crash lately. Ah, 
They hurt you even if they don't have the electric on them. Yeah, they establish what's an enemy in the first few levels and what will kill you so that you can understand it and still try and escape it. So you can never say it doesn't, it, you know, just goes, oh, here's something that's benign looking. Uh, yeah, why would that hurt you? Oh, look, it hurt you. You're an idiot for trusting anything. Ha 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 ha. And give you cheap deaths or anything. It's, look, the pit of fucking nuclear waste. <laughs> like, you know, and you're just like, oh, yeah. That makes sense. No, I can get behind that. I understand why that killed me. Whereas a lot of games that are quote unquote hard or Dark Souls esque in their hardness is very much like, ha ha ha, you touched a thing, you're dead. You touched this thing and now you're dead. And you're like, oh. But, but why? It looked like a flat surface. No, there were miniature spikes on it, and you're like, what? You see how many boxes I missed because I didn't do every split path? Yeah. Poor Crash getting massacred by boxes lately. So I'm basically just calling it, I'm just going to go straight up to toxic waste and then go, nope, because I'm having a bit of a nostalgia trip and I always stop at toxic waste. <laughs> I'm glad they kept it as some weird kind of two frame gif. A cortex just kind of staring at you and making a weird snarly face. Because, I mean, someone might get upset that you didn't keep the shitty gif look. <laughs> I don't know who those people are. <laughs> or who's working in these environments. They've got cameras everywhere, floating things. Oh look, a horrible, horrible box bridge. Ah, this used to fall down after a while, that's why I, um, the spin, yeah, that there, it eventually starts to, yeah, it used to flash and float the whole time, so I knew, but now it, I went through that, or I kind of slipped off the edge. Oh, that's, oh no, I feel like that was pretty cheap. I'm gonna wind that back later. See if that was me or the... So here we can look on the inside of what it's like to work at Amazon. Cameras everywhere, massive hazards, and Jeff Bezos gnashing at you in a two-frame GIF. Going, yes, I earn more money than the entirety of the rest of the world. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to poop. I can't afford it. I, multi-billionaire. If you stop working for a second, I might not be making pennies off, dollars off of each penny I give you. I left that TNT there on purpose. It improves staff morale cartoonish in his capitalistic villainy. villainy. I've gotten very anti-Bezos over the <laughs> over just reading what a ridiculously cartoonishly evil human being he is and people like aspiring to be him and you're like oh you mean like a horrible slaving asshole who for some reason is just allowed to not pay tax and be a douche. Seems like Kind of bullshit, actually. I don't want to be like him. I don't even understand the acquisition of money, man. Like, I, I mean, I do. Like, as in why we do it. Like, I need it to survive. But, like, my needs are so simple and easily met that, to be honest, the only things I want beyond the things that I have are so like easily attainable if I just work for like a few years and make savings because I'm not really like 
very needy. I don't sit there and go, man, my life will be meaningless unless I have a Ferrari. But to be honest, like all the Ferraris I like are classic Ferraris, which either sell really cheap and have loads of fucking maintenance problems, which will cost you an arm and a leg, or you're just um are a really good example and are one of like 10 good remaining examples on a billions. <laughs> it's just like one or the other. That is just, you know, needless. Probably shouldn't have got the mask actually. <laughs> that I, I've never understood the need to attain wealth on such an absurd level as literally depriving others of stuff because it gets to the point where you're like is there anything at that pay grade because i don't think anything's designed to cater for those pay grades because there's like one person at that pay grade you know what i mean so like people are running private militaries off of less money than jeff bezos and you're sat there like so what's the fucking point after a while you know you're doing all this villainous shit and it's like, for what? Is there some sort of super Lamborghini that you get if you deprived enough people of basic food and rights? Like, I don't understand it. Is it really worthwhile? Is there anything worthwhile about it? Like, I've never seen the point. Mostly because everything that I've ever wanted in life is like, the highest cost is its showroom value and I'm not stupid enough to buy a Ducati brand new or a Harley Davidson brand new. Because I know that they depreciate by half the moment you take them off of the court. So, um, and you know, never been that big of a thing about them because I know that I just straight up don't have the. You can fall off there. I straight up don't have the skill to just get on a Ducati or any super sport bike or any high performance bike from day one and just drive it, you know? Well, that guy's. That guy's working hard on whatever he does, going back and forth being spiky. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Yeah, I just, I always found it just, it's like, I equate it to, it's like those chocolate desserts that are called death by chocolate and are literally just diabetes on a, on a, like a uh, plate, mulch together and it's like melted kinder eggs and shit and you're just like, yeah. or like those meat platters that are like, for five people but like they're like oh yeah all you can eat see if you can eat all of this meat and you're just like this is like half a farm on a plate i don't need all this meat it's good barbecue in some cases like grill stock used to do some great barbecue but like and it's some of the best barbecue i ever had but like some of those plates you were sat there like now i look at it and i'm like that's just gross and it's the same thing with money where Oh, we're here at Toxic Life. <laughs> oh no, let's try it once. They may have made it easier. I really doubt it. These guys are fine, look. Oh, the barrels seem smaller. Barrels were not that small before. He just rolls them. That guy just rolls the barrels. He doesn't feel the need to put any spin on it. Still has a really good soundtrack, this song. I heard it a lot. Oh, I didn't see you because you're blocked by my own character model. Again, this game suffers a lot because of this stuff. Oh, they, they, you, you move fast. Look at you. The barrels are smaller. But I'm actually managing to almost fuck up more because of that. Because they're smaller and faster moving. Sometimes they do a big empty hallway like this and no barrels will come for a while and you're like, are barrels coming? It makes you doubt yourself. Yeah, there's just certain levels of like wealth nowadays where I'm like, that's just grossly way too much wealth, you know? But I, I mean, fine, not really fine because you're fucking other people's lives up by having so much wealth, but like, and when it can be, oh, here we go, here we go. Those guys, they're the ones, bouncy barrels. 
our new patented bouncy barrel. Yeah, like, I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> you know, you just get to this point where you're like, you know, I don't even want the shit that's at that level, so I guess it's easy for me because I'm not like a Rolex, Ferrari, gross, over, like, overpriced bullshit enthusiast. So I just don't understand why everyone wants to cover themselves in, like, shitty kind of stuff like that. But, like, fine if that's your your thing. I love crass platinum jewels and everything encrusted. Oh, I actually missed, avoided that one. Yeah, bounce your barrel, bouncy. Um, and, like, I just find it gross. I don't find it attractive, I don't think it's cool, I just go, oh look, he's got this loud, stupid thing that makes him look loud and stupid. Oh, give me that. Glad to be out of that room. <laughs> kind of smacked my head on that. Oh, didn't think the explosion would do that to me. We learned a lot about physics today. Ah, oh, they put it there so you have to. <laughs> and I was running away too far. Torna's just done with my shit. <laughs> She's just like, whatever. Yeah, I, I just never understood it. Maybe it's a status symbol thing, but like, now, like, I don't give a shit what other people think. And I think that really reflects because I'm just like, I don't give a shit if you think that I'm, like, not rich. Because the only people you're going to attract to you that are, like, going to be attracted to the fact that you're rich aren't good people. <laughs> so it's just like, yes. Yeah, I, ne I never saw the point. I did at one point, I got really into that shit, and then I was just like, oh, it's, they spawn me into them. How am I not getting hit by these? That was, that was fluke. Also, Crash's eyes were really dilated there. Oh, what? I got all the boxes, but it was like, nah, man, but you died. Look, he's so mad. I've never seen Crash use this pose. Nearly perfect, but you died. No, that's straight up no gem for you now, look. No gem, fuck you. You could have got the blue gem there, fuck you. Keep saying I'm gonna stop. Crash, Crash is like, um... Crash is my cocaine. I'm addicted to Crash cocaine. He got shot. Get him while he's reloading. Oh yeah, and also, yeah, this this game was the game where every enemy had a weapon and straight up shot crash, and then they kind of just decided that that was something that they're not going to do anymore. <laughs> they just decided at some point, yeah, no, nah, that's a bit weird. Oh, he wasn't ducking. Yeah, like, we're, we're showing pictures of Crash getting, like, fucking shot, <laughs> like, you know. Way before Shadow had guns, mind you. Please duck! Again, in that corner. <laughs> okay. Sure. Alrighty. Yeah, okay, he didn't, he didn't reload there. That's, that's me. That's my B. This is just <laughs> egregious. Like, why was he not, like... 
Yeah. I was doing better before. Come on. Okay. Feels a little bit like bit twitchy on like what counts and what doesn't count but like uh, I can see where the bullets hitting me it's not like I've got problems with that so I'm trying to work out what he's got on the floor there oh it's his plan which is look if you can read the drawing on his floor is I will shoot the gun at the bandicoot he had to write that down which is also like a terrible thing to do to write down your plan to murder somebody I'm stuck in the wrong place again. Oh no. No. No, I nearly had him. Yeah, they they you think I'm trying to think, does any character shoot crash after crash one? Do you think anyone ever told Naughty Dog that they were making a kid's game or they just thought, no, nah, we'll just do whatever the fuck we want? Okay. Yeah. Oh, goddamn. Nah, I wasn't gonna make that. It keeps hitting me from. No, get rid of blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm gonna get hit so bad that I'm scared of. Yeah, you dead? You're not dead? I thought I had him. I thought I had him. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh. So that's the end of the playthrough. <laughs> that's it. I'm not dealing with this today. I have to come to this with a fresh mind. This is like... This is the level that I just go, nope. And then we got... I can't remember what we got after this directly after this but we got one where it's a darkness level then the one at the bottom there on the ocean is actually through the temple above it so there's like one that's like darkness level the other one must be something else. i can't remember what it is then we got the darkness level it rotates me the wrong way which makes it really hard to see but basically um there's like a embryo boss somewhere up there Let's just look at the... So you can see the Cortex Blimp. There's a, the lab Slippery Climb and Embryo boss up there, along with something else. Oh, another machinery level. It's using the machinery times yet. It's going to take me a while to come around to doing those, because holy shit, I do not like this level. Ooh. See, that was half an hour, and that was only half this island so exactly beat the game in about five hours I reckon total maybe they get really hard from here though so anyway I'm gonna shut up